Get ready, get ready for this pipe and hot tea. Get ready, get ready for a tea time and filter with your girl loving tea. Spilling all this hot tea on this podcast street. So get ready, get ready for this pipe and hot tea. From tea time and filter with your girl loving tea. Hey, tea sippers. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely Tea. And I got my girl, Emily, in the building. Emily, say what's up to the people. What's up, everybody? So it has been a lot going on. Today is Tuesday, and it has been just a hot mess Mm -hmm. in these past two days. Everything kind of started over the weekend, and it's just kind of spiraled. So we're going to get into a lot of stuff um, during this next hour. So if you guys don't know, um, it came out recently that Cardi B and Offset, they're no longer together. They're no longer, I mean, they're still married, but they're not together. Mm -hmm. And all of this came out because of um, Blueface and Krishan. So what what happened is that Krishan, I guess she's dating, I don't know what happened to the little white boy she was dating, that Mabu dude. (laughs) I've never heard of him till her, but. Yes, I don't know where he went. They made the diss track and she moved on. So (laughs) she's dating somebody named Suave or whatever the K Suave or something like that. Makes me think of the shampoo. Suave. (laughs) (laughs) And so they're dating. And so Krishan finally decided to take Blueface's face literally off of her neck that blue face tattoo and so mm. she went live to show herself replacing blue faces face with this huge rose tattoo and it seems like that triggered blue face so we're gonna go ahead and watch this video really quick here how are you feeling about it you think you think i can do it yeah for sure like rose but i got black rose i don't want a black rose no, but I don't. Uh. That way you just put a crust in the nigga's face. <laughs> I might put it in his face because he wanted taste. This that newborn pussy make my water break. Okay. All right. So what that do you think? Good. About- yeah, he really did a good job with that cover up. But this is, you know, this is proof why you should not be tattooing people's faces and names on you. Because a lot of times. Your neck. Is- yeah, on something so obvious, you know what I'm saying? And she has like several pictures of blue face on her body. Yeah, now I ain't gonna judge on the. I got my husband's name tattooed on me, so let me not judge too hard. Oh yeah, no, we're not judging because <laughs> I, I got my ex's name tattooed on me, but it's um, you know what I'm saying it's in a private place. That's right. Everybody well, can see it, and it doesn't bother me. Right, and right. Say, when I say private place, I don't mean nowhere near the private area. Okay? <laughs> it's just in a, it's in like near my back. You know what I mean? So continue. Yeah. I, I so, well, so I do. I have, which I mean, a, a lot of people probably have. I, I think, um, what's her name? Masika has a similar one. It's like the, it looks like a flower, and then the stem is like in cursive writing, and it's like the stem is like whatever name. So I've seen that on a lot of people, but um, anyway, it's cute. It's on my arm, but nonetheless, I will say, um, a portrait of someone on your neck is, um, that's a lot. That, that is a lot, especially in key early word. on. Keyword, this is not her husband. Exactly. She got it. Like I was married. You were married. You right. Know? right. So that, that's a big difference when you get, you know, the person that you're married to tatted on you. And he also has my name on himself as well. So exactly. you, it was definitely a two way street. Okay. Right. Right. And definitely, you know, like I said, do y'all, y'all do you because what I know a lot of people think of as well, fuck it, I'll just get it covered up. So I do think, though, that this is a cause because Krishan got money. Mm-hmm. So she got a portrait of him on her neck you know, like right under her chin. So she's able to afford to get an amazing tattoo because he did the damn thing that that rose. And I know usually flowers and roses are typically like the go to when it comes to cover ups. But Mm. she has the resources and money to get someone to come out and do a beautiful cover up. But it's just, you know, y'all be just keep in mind where you get the tattoos, what you get them, um, who you get them with, you know, Mm. in the future. Uh, you might have to get them covered up. So, you know, definitely, definitely think of that. But I will say the tattoo turned out beautiful. I will oh, say. yeah. Because me and you both that. spent a lot of time in tattoo shops. For y'all who don't uh-huh, know. Yeah. <laughs> Emily got a bunch of tattoos. Like, mm-hmm. I used to literally, like, apprentice and work at a tattoo shop when I was pregnant. You know, so I was very close with this tattoo shop in our area in the Twin Cities. So, We've been around a lot of tattoos. We know good tattoo work. And he definitely did the damn thing. Especially being that that blue face tattoo was so dark. 
Yeah. You know, it's hard to cover up dark tattoos. I think it looks better. I think the cover up looks better than the original. Yeah. And usually, you know, hell, that's that's kind of hard to come by unless it's just a really shitty done original. But I don't know. I think the cover up definitely looks really good. The shading's good. It's he did the damn thing on that one. So, you know. Yeah. Now, what's so funny is that so once that went viral, all of a sudden Blueface was definitely in his feelings. And so he took to social media and he said this. He says. Tell me why I snook a. Tell me why I snook and swapped the baby. <laughs> DNA test results came in. I hate how he writes. I'm not the father. Shaking my head. It's a bitter sweet. I think he meant he wrote. It's a bitter sweat. But I think he meant bitter sweet. <laughs> I'm feeling because I was coming around to it, but definitely in my best interest. Thank you, Jesus. Then he says, I can't even pretend like I'm not happy as hell. So then at that point, you know, Krishan gets upset. She accuses him of like, you know, downloading and watching gay porn, you know, which is just odd to me because, again, you kept messing with this dude. So, you know, she's like blasting him. And then eventually he comes back and he like snaps and accuses her of sleeping with offset. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to pull that clip up here. He basically says, so you ain't fuck Cardi B's husband November 10th at 4 a.m. at their house in L.A.? I'm making this up. Then he says, being tatted on a hoe is not a flex. You literally fucked Cardi B's husband a couple of weeks ago. I'm tired of niggas looking at me while they fucking you. Get the rest of them gone ASAP, please. Because you know she got a whole bunch of like tattoos of him. Yeah. <laughs> then he that goes on. First cover up. Right. Then she goes on to say, you over here trying to crack an elite chopper's baby mama. She dubbed you. You got no riz, my boy. Then she says, let's talk about how I saw gay porn in your recent search history. That's why I honestly got the cover up, bro. I had a zesty nigga on my neck. Nothing wrong with being bisexual. Just let a bitch know before she fall in love, weirdo. You just crashing out, making up shit. But the one calling to see if I started it. Yet, Azul go to bed. So basically now she's talking about, you know, he's gay. and But this is not the first time that she's, alluded to him being bi or gay and having gay porn on his phone. Because remember that time when they got into that fight and they almost broke down that door or he broke down the door Mm. because he was trying to take, uh, he didn't want her in his phone. And everybody was saying he's that angry and breaking down doors because he got gay porn on his phone. But my thing is, she's been saying little things like that, but you still turned around and had a baby with him. Yeah, that that's definitely interesting that you feel that strongly about letting me know and this, that, and the third, but you still continued on to, and I mean, hell, wasn't she just saying she was pregnant by him again, not too long ago? So, right. I mean, it didn't seem to bother you until now that y'all are going back and forth and I'm sure they'll, you know, be back together before you know it, but nonetheless. Hopefully they won't be. I hope I, not. I'm I just think they need to separate at this point in time. It's just so, annoying. Once that went viral, Offset finally spoke up and he said, I ain't never touched that lady. Real top man, you need some help. So that was his response. So mm. then, of course, everybody was coming at Cardi B like Offset fucked, um, you know, Krishan and this and that. So then at that point, Cardi B had to admit that they're not together. So we're going to go ahead and watch that video really quick. To put me none of that. I don't know if y'all been getting clues from me for my life. I mean, I don't know if you guys been getting clues from me for my lives or for my stories when I put some certain music or find my own followings. When it comes for today's events and stuff, I don't know if it's true. I don't think it's true. I don't care to find out because I, I've been single for a minute now, but I have been afraid to like, I'm not afraid, I just don't know how like to tell the world but I feel like today has been like a sign. Like I've been the last time I got on live, I kind of wanted you guys to tell you. I kind of wanted to tell you guys, but I didn't know how to tell you. So I was like, I changed my mind. But it has been like this for a minute now, and I was just, I just took it as a sign. So I wanna, I wanna start 2024 like fresh, open. I don't know. I'm curious for a new, for a new life, for a new beginning. And yeah, I'm excited. Hey, tea sippers! To listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.